time to end the Afghan war. So there was some noise from Joe Biden uh, about the possibility of getting out by September 11th, 2021, and, and a total troop withdrawal, and every U.S. soldier uh, getting out. Now, some information has come out that that's a little bit more wishy-washy on that, that he, he might send it to private contractors instead. And But for now, the plan on the table looks like get all the troops out by September 11, 2021, on the 20th anniversary for the cause of the war, which would be a great thing. We've been there far too long. We've spent far too much money there. Uh, there is one little caveat here. Of course, Trump, uh, as you might know, Trump had made an agreement with the Taliban uh, to get out by... May, uh, I don't remember the date exactly, but I think it's the end of May. Um, don't hold me on that, but sometime in May, to get out by sometime in May. And, but it was only a partial troop withdrawal. It, you know, we were going to leave soldiers there, but that was out in the open. At least what Biden's talking about right now, doing, is having all the troops come out, like all American presence in Afghanistan uh, come out by um, September 11th of this year. Which would be great, because in case you needed reminding, we've been there for about 20 years. The, there is no longer any sense of what victory is, what winning is. As Afghanistan has essentially become the new American Vietnam. It's just a sandier, drier, um, more explosive version of Vietnam. Now, Vietnam wasn't great either, but this war has lasted in much, much longer. Although we haven't had as many casualties on our side, we've killed almost 2 million um, Afghan civilians. Uh, we've caused untold loss of life. We we ran out of bombs a couple of times when we were bombing Afghanistan. We dropped the mother of all bombs on Afghanistan under the Trump administration, um, which, if you don't remember, is the single largest non-atomic weapon that we had. Um, and we totally destroyed that country, and it, it's time for us to go. You know, that there will never be a perfect time for us to go, but that's not an excuse for us to leave. We created the conditions that have made Afghanistan worse. So we cannot use that to justify our continually, our continual staying in Afghanistan. Um, it's not morally right, uh, and we are essentially being the colonizers that we uh, had declared our independence from in 1776. And there's actually an interesting point about Afghanistan that I want to talk about. Um, Afghanistan has a nickname in history. Um, I believe it's known as the Graveyard of Empires. And it's because when people have tried to invade it, they're not going anywhere. Uh, this has been true in history. The most recent example, other than the United States, was when the Soviets, the Soviet Union, tried to invade Afghanistan for oil um, and its mineral wealth. A uh, recent report came out saying that there was trillions of dollars of mineral wealth in Afghanistan. Uh, it makes you wonder why we're really in Afghanistan. Um, but, you know, so the Soviets invaded, uh, you know, a couple decades ago, and they just couldn't take it. There was no way they could take it, uh, and it, 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 was a, it was a money suck. It just it was a giant money pit. They tried putting all these resources in it. Sounds familiar, right? The United States doing the same thing, and they could not, they could not tame Afghanistan. Um, so, you know, really, it's... You know, it's it's a it's a waste for us to be there, uh, and we've caused so much damage. It's also the moral thing to do, to leave. And as I said earlier, there is no sense of what victory is, right? This, um, this really is the the new the new Vietnam. This is the forever war. Uh, if you remember when Lindsey Graham ran for president, he was interviewed. Uh, I think it was on 60 Minutes. I think it was, and they asked him when you get out, and his response was, "Oh, you you, you don't get out." essentially admitting, no, 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 we, we stay there and colonize forever, right? Uh, and by the way, when we were in Afghanistan, the amount of oil that we were getting in the United States went up, right? So we were definitely kind of looting its natural resources, which is uh, morally wrong, uh, especially because of the, the untold amount of damage we did to the people, as well as the millions of people that we killed there. Um, so it's time for, so all in all, and we've been there for 20 years, all those reasons combined, it is time to leave. I really do hope Joe Biden does this. It's super important that we start withdrawing from these places, that we end our forever wars, and we stop trying to be this colonial power, this imperialist power, uh, especially when we don't have adequate civil, serv uh, civil services 
back in the U.S., right? There are still lead pipes. In, there are still uh, lead pipes in Flint. Our infrastructure is terrible around the country, right? There's so much more we could be doing, uh, spending our national attention on, spending our resources on, our people resources, right? Imagine if the U.S. Army went out to every community and uh, and helped build bridges and helped repair roads and uh, built new pipes, built new water pipes, planted trees, right? Imagine, imagine how we could transform this country if we took all the energy and resources that we were spending in Afghanistan and we brought them home to help America become a better America. More trees, more roads, more bridges, more parks, better pipes. We, we could have so much more if we didn't spend gazillions of dollars, hundreds of billions, hundreds of billions of dollars fighting wars that will never end, that we cannot win, um, which we're essentially just doing to, to steal as much wealth from these countries as we possibly can. So it's time. Do it, Joe Biden. You will make the left happy. And you'll be a hero, honestly, not even a lie. Uh, you know, so definitely do that.